Hi, in this video we will solve radical equations and their applications. At the end of this video, you are expected to identify radical equations, solve radical equations, and solve real life problems involving radical equations. Radical equation is an equation in which the variable is under the radical symbol or has a fractional exponent. Here are the steps in solving radical equations. Isolate the radical on one side of the equation. Place both sides of the equation to nth power, where n is equal to the index of the radical. Simplify the equation by combining like terms and solve by isolating the variable and by applying properties of equality. Example number 1. Cube root of x plus 7 is equal to 12. To isolate the radical, subtract 7 from both sides of the equation. 7 minus 7 is 0 and 12 minus 7 is 5. So we have cube root of x is equal to 5. To remove the radical symbol, raise both sides of the equation to the third power. The cube of cube root of x is x. And the cube of 5 is 125. Because 5 cube means you will multiply 3 fives. To check if your answer is correct, substitute. Cube root of 125 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. So it's correct. Example number 2. The fourth root of the sum of x and 20 is equal to 3. To remove the radical symbol, place both sides of the equation to the fourth power. You will cancel the index and the exponent, so we will have x plus 20. 3 raised to the fourth power is 81. Because 3 raised to the fourth power means you will multiply 4 threes. 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 times 3, 81. To isolate x, subtract 20 from both sides of the equation. 20 minus 20 is 0, so x at the left. And 81 minus 20 is 61. x at the right. To check, substitute 61 with the equation. 61 plus 20, 81. Fourth root of 81 is 3. So it's correct. Example number 3. The square root of the difference of x and 5 less 4 is equal to 0. To remove negative 4, add 4 to both sides of the equation. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So at the left, you have the square root of x minus 5. 0 plus 4 is 4. To remove the radical symbol, square both sides of the equation. Cancel the radical and exponent 2. x minus 5 at the left. And the square root 4 is 16. To isolate x, add 5 to both sides of the equation. Simplify. 16 plus 5, 21. To check, substitute. The square root of 21 minus 5 is 4. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. And it's correct. Example number 4. 
6 plus the square root of the difference of 3x and 14 is equal to x. To isolate the radical, subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. 6 minus 6 is 0, so at the left, you will have the square root of the difference of 3x and 14. And at the right, you will have x minus 6. To remove the radical symbol, square both sides of the equation. Cancel the radical and the exponent 2. So you will have 3x minus 14. And the square of x minus 6 is x squared minus 12x plus 36. Combine like terms. By subtracting 3x from both sides of the equation and adding 14 to both sides of the equation. Negative 12x plus negative 3x is negative 15x. 36 plus 14 is 50. Factor. Negative 5 times negative 10 is positive 50. Negative 5x plus negative 10x is negative 15x. So these are the factors. x minus 5 and x minus 10. Equate each factor to 0, then solve for x. x minus 5 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 5. And x minus 10 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 10. To check the answer to the equation, substitute each value of x. If x is 5, 3 times 5, 15. 15 minus 14, 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 6 plus 1 is 7 and it's not equal to 5. So it's false. 5 is extraneous or extraneous solution. Let's substitute 10. 3 times 10, 30. Minus 14, 16. Square root of 16. The principal root is 4. 6 plus 4, 10. And it's true. It means the solution to this equation is 10. Solving problems involving radical equations. Example number 1. What is the radius of the circle whose area is 28.27 square centimeters? The area of a circle is pi r square. Substitute the value of the area in the problem. 28.27 square centimeter is equal to pi r squared. To isolate the radius, divide both sides by pi. Pi divided by pi is 1, so r squared will be alone at the right. And 28.27 divided by pi is approximately equal to 9. To get the value of r, get the square root of both sides. Square root of 9 is positive or negative 3, but we will just take the positive because there is no negative left. To check, the square of 3 cm is square centimeter. If you multiply it to pi, you will get approximately equal to 28.27. Example number 2. Find the size of a collateral triangle whose altitude is 10 cm. A collateral triangle is a triangle whose sides have the same measure. The formula for the altitude or the height of a collateral triangle is x times the square root of 3 all over 2, where x is the side. 
substitute the value of the altitude to the formula. Multiply both sides by 2. 2 times 10, 20. Then cancel. 2 over 2, that will become 1. To isolate x, divide both sides by square root of 3. Square root of 3 over square root of 3 is 1. So x will be alone in one side. And 20 divided by square root of 3 is approximately equal to 11.55 centimeters. To check, substitute 11.55 to the formula. 11. 0.55 cm times square root of 3 is 20.005 divided by 2 and it's approximately equal to 10 cm. So the side of the equilateral triangle measures 11.55 cm. Example number 3. Find more than the square root of the difference of a number and 3 is equal to the same number. What is the number? Let the number be x. So it is 5 plus the square root of the difference of x and 3 equal to x. To isolate the radical, subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. 5 minus 5 is 0. So, square root of the difference of x and 3 will be at the left. And x minus 5 will be at the right. Remove the radical symbol by squaring both sides of the equation. Cancel the radical and the exponent 2. We will have x minus 3. And at the right, the square of x minus 5 is x squared minus 10x plus 25. Combine like terms by subtracting x from both sides of the equation and adding 3 to both sides of the equation. Negative 10x plus negative x is negative 11x. 25 plus 3 is 8. The factors are x minus 4 and x minus 7. Equate each factor to 0, then solve for x. So the values of x are 4 and 7. Check each value of x. 4 minus 3 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 5 plus 1 is 6 and it's not equal to 4. It means 4 is extraneous root and extraneous solution to the equation. Substitute 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. Square root of 4 2. 5 plus 2 7 and it's equal to 7. So the solution to the equation is Thank you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Vishal Ongotan Bien. Have a great day.